time in Goss's Garage, we are going to finish up our tips and tricks regarding spark plugs. One thing to remember whenever you're doing anything under the hood of the car or anything like that, always wear eye protection, uh, especially if the engine is running, fans and belts and so on can pick up debris and just fling it at you. And if it happens to hit you in the eye, you're gonna be in trouble. So, eye protection. All right, now, there are lots of things as far as uh, installing spark plugs go, uh, lots of tools and so on. You'll have to go to a parts store where they sell tools and so on to see if what you need is something like this. This is a tool that you can bend to make it whatever direction you, you want it in, and then you can turn the spark plug like this. Uh, works well to get into some of these hard to reach places. Remember that whenever you're installing spark plugs, one of the things that you want to do is when you put the spark plug into the spark plug hole, you never put it in with a wrench. Uh, an installation tool such as this uh, flexible one or your hand now you might have a socket over the plug to hold it in place, but you don't have a wrench on it. You're going to turn it by hand. Now, you must be able to start the spark plug, turn it at least two full turns by hand to make sure that you don't have it cross-threaded. Modern cars have aluminum cylinder heads. The aluminum is soft. The spark plug is made of steel. Put a wrench on it and you can strip the heads or the threads right out of the head in a heartbeat. So uh, yes, they can be fixed, but you know, it's 120 to 200 bucks to fix it. And it's an aggravation that you don't need. Now, something else. Here we have anti-seize compound. Now you can buy it in smaller quantities and so on. And what you're going to do with anti-seize is when you get ready to put the spark plugs in, you put a teeny dot right here on the first thread on each side of the plug, 180 degrees apart. And what you're trying to do here is to get some of this anti-seize in here, which will keep the plug from seizing into the head. You don't want a lot of it on there. You just want these tiny dots right there. And as you turn the plug into the cylinder head, uh, you will disperse that around the threads and it'll keep the plug from seizing. Too much or putting grease on it or anything like that, grease will uh, turn into like glue to uh, cause the plug to seize instead of uh, making it free to come out. So anti-seize compound, tiny dot, on each side of the plug at the first thread, then put it in and tighten accordingly. Now, if your car has spark plug wires or coil on plug where they have a rubber boot that goes down over the plug, anything like that, when you make that connection, you want to use dielectric grease because the dielectric grease will prevent corrosion and help maintain a good electrical connection. So uh, you're going to put that on the tip end of the spark plug and up inside the rubber boot to keep the rubber boot from the coil or the spark plug wire from welding itself to the spark plug, meaning that when you go to take it apart the next time, the boot is destroyed because it's welded onto the ceramic of the plug and you can't get it off. So those are just some of the little tips that we found over the years here in the repair shop. And if you have a question or a comment or just want a lot of good information and tips, check us out at goss-garage.com.